What's up everybody? It's Logic Bomb 82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated voxel turf server for Windows. So this is a game that's uh, kind of like Minecraft and GTA 5, kind of blended a little bit. It's got a lot of cool things in it. You can own property, you can uh, you have, have your buildings like produce things for you, and there's all kinds of things to it. It's a really cool game. I, uh, I definitely recommend you check it out. It's available on Steam. But let's get started here. So first thing you need to do, you're going to have to have the game files. So you don't have to have an account to run a server, but you do need to have access to the files. So, I mean, obviously you're probably going to own the game anyways. So you need to log into uh, your Steam account on the machine. So you're going to want to download all the files and then run the game once. And then once you do that, you need to exit Steam. You're going to go into C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps. Common. This is going to be where your files are stored for Voxel Turf. Double click on that, and then if you scroll down, you'll see a thing called vtserver.exe. That's how you run a server. We are going to have to make a .bat first, so right click anywhere in the open spot, go new, text file, uh, name it whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm, I named mine, I, may, I already made this, I named it Voxel Start. So we'll put voxel start dot two, and then delete the dot text out of there and put a dot bat. Hit enter, and then hit yes. If you weren't able to put the dot bat and it still has a text at the end, you need to go up here to view and see where it says file name extensions. Put a check mark right there. So if yours looks like this, you need to go to view and put a check mark, and then you can change it that way to make it quicker. Then once you do that, you want to right click in your your dot bat you just created and go edit. You can edit it with just regular Notepad. Um, I recommend Notepad++. It's a free download. Grab it. And yours is going to be empty. Whoops, I just ran it. And I did not mean to do that. Your file is going to be empty. So, <clears throat> shutting that back down. So yours is going to be empty again. Sorry. You want to go in here and go edit. And you're going to put in this text right here. So very first line, vtserver.exe. That's going to actually run the uh, the server down here, this vtserver.exe. And then you need to put your command lines in. So uh, dash dash server name. Let me blow this up so you see a little bit bigger here. There you go. So dash dash server name, and then whatever you want the name of the server to be. The next one's Okay, so the save game is the name that your save game is going to be saved under in the server. So you need to you need to put a name there. Uh, public game lets other people join the server, so it's on the public server list. Port sets the port five seven two eight is default. Make sure you have that open on your firewall and router. Google it if you don't know how with your model the model number of your firewall or of your router. You should be able to find instructions on how to forward the port. Max players is pretty obvious. There's several different game modes. There's strategy mode you can put in here, build, trash, or turf. They all do different things. Just uh, you know, look it up and you can see what all what the difference is. Turf is the main mode I think most people play on. Uh, gen map. This is kind of uh, how big you want your world to be. So depending on the specs of your server, you don't want to make it too big because it's going to be too stressful on the server and it's going to run like like poo. So you know, uh, twenty. Uh, 2048 by 2048 is going to be pretty decent. Um, I would start there and then work your way up, see how big you can go, and still have good performance. So once you have all this inputted and set the way that you want, make sure you go file save as, or save, excuse me. And then all you need to do is you need to run your voxel.bat, whatever you named it, mine's voxel start. It's going to pop up your little command window box, but you can actually close that. It doesn't actually do anything. Uh, how to check to see if your server is running is you need to go open your task manager. You should see a vtserver.exe running. That means your server is up and running. And this is also how you the only way that I know how to shut the server down. So when you're ready to shut it down, click on it and then hit end task and that will shut the server down. Um, hopefully your, your game will save um, pretty regularly so you don't lose anything if you do it that way. So, All right, I hope that helped you guys set up your own Voxel Turf server. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the uh, discussion and visit my website minecraftunion.com 
You can join uh, both my Twitch and my YouTube channel from there. I also run several other servers. If you're looking to play Minecraft or something else, feel free to jump on. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.